Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to make a distinction between two concepts that I often hear people use as if they were referring to the same thing. And I think that they are not referring to the same thing, and I want to explain the distinction. The two concepts are capitalism, on the one hand, and the free market, or a free market economy, on the other hand. Uh, wh what are these concepts, and how do I think they're different? I think a free market is a very basic and simple thing. It refers to uh, an economy or a setup in which people and businesses can come together and can trade goods and services freely without any sort of price restrictions or price fixing or artificially imposed constraints. They're allowed to trade things and the free market determines what the prices of things are. A really basic example of this would be when I went trick-or-treating as a kid, at the end we would c collect the candy and we would sit down and we would trade it. And depending on who was present and what types of candy we had, uh, there would be different relative values of the different types of candy. Like for example, I really like coconut and some people dislike that, so I would often try to get mounds and almond joy. Uh, as an example, and I think that that doesn't necessarily have currency, but I still think that that's a free market. I think a lack of a free market would be if a parent or authority figure came in and said, hey guys, like, it's not okay for you to trade three of one candy bar for one of another one. Like, at most you can trade two for one, and they're like imposing some sort of a rule. That would be moving away from a free market. So what is capitalism? I think capitalism is much more involved, and I think that it often involves free markets, but not necessarily. I think capitalism is an economic system in which the mode of production, like industry and the sort of big, powerful players in the economy, are controlled by private individuals or private corporations, privately held corporations. So they're not owned by the government, they're not sort of publicly held in that sense. Now there is the idea of a public corporation which can be owned by, like the shares are owned by individuals, so I just want to make that clarification. That's still considered capitalism if uh, it's a publicly held corporation because the shares are privately held and they're not owned by the government, they're not like collectively owned. So that's the one feature of capitalism that I think is important. But also, capitalism also involves the accumulation of wealth by investing wealth to generate more profit. So people have money, they invest the money in corporations, or if it's a business, the business might invest the money directly in their business, like in paying their employees, in buying physical things, buying property, and so on, and use that to make more wealth. And I think that is the defining feature of capitalism. The idea that there's this privately held m mode of production and people are reinvesting money to earn more money. You can have that without having a free market economy. And there's a degree to which the current setup in the US is exactly this. And this is especially true in commercial agriculture. We don't really have a free market economy because there are significant subsidies by the US government. There are examples of price fixing, like the price of milk is established by this formula. There are examples of like uh, bulk commodities where the, U the US government, the federal government, is providing a subsidy to these commodities at a certain rate. Uh, there are all sorts of other examples of market interventions in the US economy. There are also other economies that are even more managed than our own. China is a good example. China has a very authoritarian government. They actually grew out of a government that was called a communist government. Now whether or not it was actually communist, that's kind of up to debate. But uh, they do have a capitalistic economic system right now. They have lots of these private corporations, uh, and wealth is kind of concentrated by this reinvestment. But it's not a free market economy. You have this totalitarian government. Uh, even the way the currency system works is very different from the US. I think the US has a much more sort of free, hands-off currency, whereas the Chinese government, the way they regulate the currency is farther from the sort of free market balance that you have in the, in the US. 
So those are just two examples. It's obviously not strictly black and white. There are certainly aspects of the free market in China and so on. And there are countries that have more of a free market than the U.S., at least in certain sectors, like for example, in agriculture. So I want us to separate these two concepts. So when you're discussing economics, when you're discussing uh, economic systems, uh, economic policies and things, don't use free market and capitalism interchangeably. They're not the same thing. Uh, just at the end, I want to throw in my two cents. I'm a huge fan of free markets. I think that managed economies tend to fail, they tend to do really bad things, whether it's like a whole managed economy like the USSR, or a sort of small managed sector of the economy, like the US system of agricultural subsidies. I tend to be opposed to both these things. Uh, I tend to support free markets. Capitalism, on the other hand, I'm a little bit more uneasy with. I won't necessarily say I oppose it, but I certainly am cautious or wary of the degree to which wealth can get concentrated in the hands of people who already have a lot of wealth and power. And I think it's important to have limitations on that. And so uh, I am really all about the free market, but I tend to view capitalism as something that I want to kind of keep, keep like reined in somehow. Like I don't want to support unfettered capitalism or unconditional capitalism. And I like to think about moving away from capitalism uh, because I don't like the concentration of power in the hands of a few. And I think that that's pretty closely associated with capitalism. So I hope that I've clarified these uh, two concepts for you, the distinction between them. I'd love to hear from you if you have anything to say, if there's anything you maybe disagree with or you think you could explain more clearly or examples that you think would further illuminate it, please share. Uh, and as always, if you found this useful or informative, uh, I love when people share my videos. Uh, yeah, and I love when people subscribe to my channel too. Thank you.